Hello, welcome back to Black with Stacks. I am your host, Toshana Sanders, and um, my lighting is a little strange, but uh, hopefully I am in focus, because sometimes that's a thing uh, that happens. But anyway, we are here in November, and uh, there are a few titles that I wanted to mention and also give you guys a preview for January 2022. So there's some exciting things coming up, uh, coming out uh, in January that I have had the privilege of having a look at. I'm just reach over here for my November pile. Um, so probably the book that everybody has heard about so far has been the 1619 Project, uh, edited, curated, created by Nicole Hannah Jones, um, in, uh, conjunction or collaboration with Chris Jackson, um, who is the publisher of One World, um, and executive vice president, publisher, editor in chief. Um, and it's such a great book. I mean, essentially, this is an expansion of the 1619 project as it appeared in the New York Times. Um, and it has um, kind of interstitially um, po poetry, there's creative work in here. Um, there are images of black people from out from history if I can find some to show you um, that um, have never been seen before or not like well known um, so it's really uh, an impressive and incredible work um, one of my favorite essays in the book is by Wesley Morris, who is a critic for the New York Times. He's just a beautiful writer. And um, let's see if I can find it um, quickly because uh, the way that, I mean, I highlighted so many things in this book, um, but I mean, it's just so valuable to have his perspective on the creativity of black folks and essentially the origins of our our story um, in all these different ways but it's broken down into the chapters are broken down into different categories so like music healthcare medicine um, capitalism etc much like the 1619 project that appeared in the New York Times um, here he says African Americans make up 13% of the population yet account for an incalculable amount of what moves us and how we move and there's some other stuff there that contextualizes that and then at the end he says this unceasing eruption of ingenuity invention intuition and improvisation constitutes the very core of American culture and that's in part because white people won't stop putting it there I mean just like incredible lines like that um there's an essay on church citizenship uh and essentially the main additions to the 1619 project are historians um usually black women historians like tia miles um if you haven't seen um or read dr miles's all that she carried about ashley's keepsake um i think it I think it was long listed for a national book award it may have even won but i'm not sure um anyway such an amazing read um i didn't i never got a galley i only read it um digitally but you know tia miles is in here carol anderson has um a book uh, a, a piece uh, or a chapter in here as well because i think hers is actually citizenship but i'm not sure and um, Carol Anderson didn't participate in the first 1619 or the original 1619 project because she was working on a book and so um, Nicole Hannah Jones asked her if she could participate in the book and so that's why she's included here um, and I think that's largely um, a response to the critique that um, most of the work around the 1619 project is um, more politicized than actual history and so anyway there's there's lots of nuanced beauty uh, in in the 1619 project I love that it's a new origin story it is a, a really important one so you should pick that up I just saw that there's like a cool partnership between bookshop 
and um, uh, the publisher, I guess, to, to, you know, don't, you're able to donate the 1619 Project to institutions, schools, organizations. It's definitely um, worthwhile. I think everyone should read it. So that's that. Um, I think it is scheduled to come out on sale November 16th. So you have a couple weeks um, if you're watching this in November, but obviously if you're watching it after that, wherever books are sold. Um, I may have mentioned this before, All Her Little Secrets by Wanda M. Morris. So like, listen, thrillers are not really my jam. I'm just gonna go ahead and admit that. Like I have read a few of them this year because like they just were in roundups that I was working on and that kind of thing. But like generally life is scary enough. I don't really do scary. Like I don't really need, I don't really need it. But um, All Her Little Secrets really got me from the first page. Um, and I don't know when it's coming out in November or if, if the date has changed or the month or whatever. But if it's still coming out in November, you definitely want to pick this up. It's about this um, basically like corporate lawyer who has kind of a, a deep dark past um, and also is sleeping with her boss who is murdered <laughs> at the play, her place of employment and then she gets promoted in some like crooked diversity inclusion move and yeah i'm not gonna give too much more away because that's quite a lot but um yeah it was really juicy so all her little secrets if that's your jam it's not too long it's like yeah it's a little bit less than 400 pages totally worth your time i think me personally me myself personally okay so another book that's going on sale um november 16th is michael tubbs's the deeper the roots um, so, uh, Tubbs, Mr. Tubbs is, he, he was Stockton mayor, the city's first black mayor, the youngest ever of a major American city. Um, he lives with his partner, uh, in, um, who's Anna Malachi Tubbs, who wrote the book, The Three Mothers, um, that came out last year earlier this year earlier this year probably i think Woo, i'm getting rusty <laughs> um that's the second time that happened this year but p.s but it's fine uh two out of however many books i read a year is like not a big deal right yeah right so um anyway this is sort of the memoir of his um political journey and just sort of the making of an unlikely mayor um and just so such great candor such lovely vulnerability so interesting to hear um from a black man about his his journey um both in in terms of interior and also exterior right so um really valuable really lovely again goes on sale november 16th i don't know if you can see having some weird lighting issues here today but anyway that's that's him i guess as a younger person and he's super cute anyway um okay fierce love i already talked about but i finally finished it um in mid-october i think and um it's fierce love a bold path to ferocious courage that and rule breaking kindness that can heal the world by reverend dr jackie lewis so good so inspirational um there was some part of it that made me cry, but I can't remember what it was. I think it just was the idea that we're all bound together, that joy can be healing and collective joy can be even more healing. So anyway, really loved it. Pretty easy read, um, a little bit over 200 pages. That's what I have for November. In December, um, there's a really great book coming out about Vivian Mayer called Vivian Mayer Developed. Um, that I've written about um, and it's by a woman named Ann Marks. If you know anything about Vivian Mayer, she's the photographer nanny that was uh, the subject of the documentary in 2014 called Finding Vivian Mayer. Um, 
you should look her up if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Vivian is, has traditional spelling, but her last name is M-A-I-E-R. So worth it. So good. Um, and the biography is incredible. So that's the like the main book that I know that's coming out in December um, that I am excited about. But mostly now my eyes are turned to January. And speaking of eyes, be jealous. I have this collection of essays from Zora Neale Hurston, You Don't Know as Negroes, and other essays. It has um, an introduction by Henry Louis Gates and Genevieve West, who edited, um, who's a scholar of Zora Neale Hurston's work, and she edited Hitting a Straight Lick with a Crooked Stick, which, as you guys know, because if you've been following the channel for a little while, I didn't particularly um, enjoy those stories, but um, they that didn't make them less valuable it just means that they weren't exactly my jam but anyway um these essays are i've been devouring them you see i have my little bookmark um a friend of mine gave me this bookmark years ago and so now i get to like put the zorino hurston book mark in the book by zorino hurston oh my gosh that's how you know you're a real nerd right i think so anyway um I have made it about a little bit over 100 pages in. Um, some of it I scanned, to be honest, just because I have a lot of things going on that I need to be reading and looking at. But there's this wonderful passage about the will to adorn. And she says, it's the will to adorn is the second most notable characteristic in Negro expression. Perhaps this idea Perhaps this idea of ornament does not attempt to meet conventional standards, but it satisfies the soul of its creator. And let me look at the end of each essay. There's like the year in which it was written. So I just have to look. She wrote that in 1934. Like when Alice Walker called her the genius of the South, she was like not messing around. Like she, that was like real good insight because like, oh my gosh, right? Like how come we don't learn about Zora and her various insights into blackness? In school we should hopefully we will in the future um, all right so on my to be on my to be read list for January so far is Jabari seems yonder um, this is coming January as well it's being pitched as the water dancer meets the prophets in a gripping beautifully rendered novel exploring love and friendship among a group of black strivers in the mid 19th century. I love this cover. So that's coming in January. Um, How High We Go in the Dark um, is uh, like climate plague novel. Um, in 2030, a grieving archeologist arrives in the Arctic Circle to continue the work of his deceased daughter at a center where researchers are studying long buried secrets now revealed in melting permafrost all right maybe that's your jam but um i love this cover in particular um also coming out in january damaris b hill has a book coming out as well in january um this is poetry um some of you may be aware of um her latest work, A Bound Woman is a Dangerous Thing, which I interviewed her for. Um, this is Breath Better Spent Living Black Girlhood. So it's more archival black women, black girls. Um, and we have Ella Baker at the ballot. We have um, Jarena Lee. I mean, just looks like really, really good. So it's hard to see the cover, but Breath Better Spent by Damaris B. Hills, also coming out in January. And those are the ones that I have. Um, so I don't know if I'll be doing another video about books except for roundups, like my favorites of the year. Um, if you guys have other requests, then let me know like what you'd like to see in the, on the channel. Um, what you finished, what you're looking forward to in 2022. Oh my gosh, it's almost here. Um, what you loved in 2021. Um, 
you got a to be read list if you want like it most anticipated top 10 anticipated for the first quarter of 2022 i have no idea but i would love to hear what you want to hear more about from me in the meantime i will be reading <laughs> as always always great to hear from y'all and i will see you again soon